All right, there. It's your old mate Yorkie here. Starting a new run, since we've missed over a week on the one I was live streaming, of um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We're drawing to a close on uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker, I believe. I could be wrong on that. There might be more episodes than I realise. We're starting one on Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I might live stream some of this. I'll probably do most of it as videos. Um, this one is called Faith of Galarian. Why? Randomness. I don't know what character I'm going to play. Let me show you what I mean. See this? There's ten mythic paths. Angel, Gold Dragon, Azata, Trickster, Demon, Spawn Who Walks, Leash, Devil, Aeon, Legend. Some of these, I'd probably never even try and play. Now, I've got uh, experience of the early game and some of the early middle game. I don't have late game experience. Some of these I'd probably never uh, play. I've never got to Gold Dragon because, obviously, I've never reached level 8 um, of the Mythic Path line. I think we've got to level 4 at one time. Uh, Spawn Who Walks I'd never choose. Leash... I did a little bit of play for myself. Um, it's actually a decent line. It cuts out romance. And I, li I do like to have romance. So I'd probably never really choose to do a long play on that. Aeon, I've always thought might be boring, but I've never tried it. And Legend is one again. You're basically a regular person. Well, I mean, you're a legendary regular person. But you're not a mythic path as such. So I'd probably never choose to do that. I'm going to... Do a random roll. And all these base classes, these are ones that I have never played. Some of them, Judge, Scale Fist, are ones I'd never choose to play. Um, uh, it's probably others I wouldn't as well, but I've, ones I would never choose to play. So I've aligned them with rough, very roughly aligned to the alignment that goes along with Mythic Path. Very, very roughly. The races that go with them. Completely random. With one exception, it didn't put Heart Fork on Wildland Shaman. So I swapped Heart Fork with where, with where it put it. With the um, the, the uh, species, the race that's in there. And obviously, your old mate Yorki doesn't play. We'd let the lives of Yorki take things. So each one have a line to a life of Yorki. I've also randomly put in... Which romance they'll take if I end up on that one? Some of these make a lot of sense. Angel, Sozial, of course. Some of these, or oh, Gold Dragon, Galfrey, make sense. Excuse me, some of these, yeah, not so much. I mean, Camellia Tricks to make sense. Lands a law guy, well, a long time has had a bit of a challenge, a bit, bit different. They're chaotic, but why not? Demon Darren makes sense. Arushalai, to romance her, you've got to go good with her. But I'm talking about the devil. I do actually need to double check if that's possible. I might have to swap her on that one. Um, actually, let me just double check. Who leaves your party if you choose devil mythic path? Uh, Devil either Camellia or Evil Rue. Oh, okay, so Good Rue will stay with you. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, it's a go Devil, which is lawful evil, and take on Chaotic Neutral, who you've got to tra challenge towards Good to Romancer. That's a complete diametric opposite. Uh, when do I can, uh, Aeon. That, that kind of makes sense. Um, Wendoag is a kinky freak. She likes to have someone in control. Law is all about control. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Anyway, let's see what path we're going to get, shall we? Online dice roller. Here we go. 1d10. We get 10. Ooh. <laughs> 
Two things I would never play. I'm not even fond of Elf as a race, to be honest. Just because it's such a standard race, as Elf and Dwarf, uh, that I tend to avoid them. But there we are. Legend. Scaled Fist. Elf. Ooh! And of course, uh, because there's not enough romances to go around, I just put whoever for the legend, because, hey, they're a legend! Hey! Sit on it, as Fonz would say. All right, so new game. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I'm going to try and play on core. I'm not that good, so there could be challenges here. But I always put Death Door on. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to play with Death Door. Tough city. The thing with Death Door for me is... Um, any other character dies, they stay in your party, you can resurrect them. You don't lose your play. As long as you've got some raised deads... Um, you can you can bring them back. Your main character dies, and if you forgot to save for until from like an hour ago, that's an hour's worth of play lost. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. So so I I need desk oh. custom character. Now who's gonna be? I'll be Sir Yorkie taking it over, which is good because that's who's losing out on the. Uh, on the uh, channel, uh, on the previous water. All right, we need an elf, an elf male. The only one I would have probably played a female is um, because you know I'm obviously not, and I'm on camera. The only one I would have probably played a female is if I got. Um, which is it? Whichever of the romances requires female. Uh, Lan. Lan. So we're talking scaled fist. I mean, he's a monk, but he's certainly not an elf. Look at the previous ones. I wish they had a lot more portraits. Let's see. <clears throat> Never really played a monk. Now I get up to 20 ranks to do because I'm playing uh, I'm playing, uh, uh, I'll be going Legend route. Can we have something that looks monkish and elven? Might have to go for him. It really doesn't look monkish because it's. Yeah, I mean, you could call that a quarter staff, I suppose, if you were desperate. But not really. Besides, scale face we're unarmed, aren't we? I don't really see elves here. Maybe he's trimmed his ears. Or maybe he was born deformed with short ears. Well, he's got hair over it. He could be a monk. He could be an elf. He's got no beard and so on. And he could be a, he could be a monk. That'll work. He looks like he's light. So, monkey, monkey magic, monkey magic. Steeped in traditions that truce that the trace of their origins to the warrior monks who trained under the tutelage of dragonic masters. Gale fists issue passive introspection in favour of unshakable confidence. Galefist learned to combine brutal intimidation with the brazen ferocity of an ancient worm. Alright. When unarmored and unencumbered, the monk. Why is it taking out. 
what's the difference there? Who knows? You don't get the monk bonus fleece, you get the scale fist bonus fleece in, feet instead. But what's the difference there? When unarmored and unencumbered, the monk adds his charisma bonus, if any, to his AC and CMD. In addition, the monk gains plus one bonus to AC and CMD at fourth level. Um, the bonus increases by one for every four monk levels thereafter, to a maximum of plus five at 20. These bonuses to AC apply even against touch attacks or when the monk's flat footed. He loses these bonuses when he is immobilized or helpless, when he wears any armor, when he carries a shield, or when he carries a medium or heavy load. Yeah, even use a shield. Hmm. All right. Flurry of blows. As a full attack, when making a flurry of blows, the monk can make one additional attack at his highest base attack bonus. This attack stacks with a bonus attack from haste and other similar effects. When using this field, with any combination of his unarmed strikes and weapons that have the monk special weapon of built her quality. See my thoughts on this. He's a scaled fist. I've got 20 levels to play with. What I'm thinking is focus on monk to start with. Go Draconic. He, he's trained by dragons. Why not have be that because he has some Draconic blood? So take him to maybe to level 7 in uh, Dragon Disciple. And then go back to Monk. That will leave me with an extra 13 to play with. Uh, which I could put into whatever we use to give him access to Draconic. And I'm thinking uh, for some bonus, dip into uh, Ice Plant on uh, on Witch. Oh, although the on the only spontaneous Witch takes penalties, don't they? So I can't use that. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. I'll think that through. Improved on Armed Strike. That's nice. Stunning Fist. Alright. Deal 1d3 bludgeoning. Why is he giving me 1d3 bludgeoning for un improved unarmed strike? If unarmed strike is already giving me 1d6. That's a little strange. Alright. And it was an elven hero, I believe. Yes, again, one I wouldn't usually play. Elf. We have basic Blightborn and Lawmaster. If I am going to go Draconic uh, or a Dragon Disciple, then. Lawmaster would help with getting. Oh no, it wouldn't because you have to have five levels. Okay. Light bonus. Okay, that's uh, lose Zelwyn magic and keen senses, but gains plus two bonus on knowledge and use magic devices. Light bone elf lose Zelwyn immunities and Elven magic, but gains plus two racial bonus on saving throws against necromancy and spell like abilities. Go basic. Right, he's a legend. Let's see what shall we go with here. I don't really need him to have short swords and so on. He's going to be largely unarmed. Craftsman's going to have a whole add a whole bunch of. Uh, Weapons that a, a peasant might use. Noble. Those are rapiers, etc. No. A blade. A healer. 
or martial, disi martial disciple. Law religion, her class skills, she also is an, gains an improved unarmed strike as a background feat, which we already have. So it being a, an extra feat wouldn't actually help me there, no. Swordsman, Alchemist, Diplomat. Alright. Diabolist, Necromancer, Orphan. Could work with that. I think I'm going to do that. It's not really adding anything too special to me, but the plus one... Plus one bonus on saving throws is not massive. An extra 5% chance of uh, succeeding on the save. Um, since you're rolling a d20. Um, law religion? Mm, am I even going to make them law religion? Possibly not. We'll see though. Right. I need to check something. All right, sorry, uh, real life intrusion, but everything's fine. Right, uh, we're going to be going with finesse, aren't we? So I can sacrifice strength. Which I'm going to have to do. I wonder, is there a way to make that apply? Hmm. See, we need some con. I can drop int down. I don't really need that. I don't really need wisdom. I do need some charisma. I'm not sure what it's used for a monk. I've not played him before. Dex is absolutely essential. And his constitution. Okay. Will's at minus one. Reflex and fortitude are decent. Mobility and stealth make a lot of sense. Let's see. Um, I can leave trickery off. So I'll, I'll have him be my mobility, well, one of my mobility and stealth folks. And weapons focus on unarmed would be good. Uh, meanwhile, definitely weapon finesse. Oh, 
Okay. That's what we take in there. That makes sense. Train style would be good. We can fight defensively and only lose minus two. And get an additional plus one dodge bonus. And we need to be someone. You can be an atheist monk. Well, we're coming up from nothing. We have no reason to believe in the gods, at least their, their divinity, etc. Although I could go for Abdar. Why not? Cities, law, merchants, and wealth. Oh, really, merchants and wealth, not really for this guy. Why not? Why not? He's a legend. He's a legend. But the monk, they're more withdrawn than the city folk. Atheism might work. Oh no, what about uh, Master of Masters, the Enlightened One? Yes. The perfect human. That's obviously the one we need to go for. We can go lawful neutral, lawful good. Or lawful evil. I'm going lawful good. No. Lawful neutral, we're not worried about good and evil. Right. Skinny bugger. That'll work. Nice style. Half, halfway long. That's kind of it. It needs to be white. That's blonde, not white. There we are. Are there any other better hairstyles for him? That might be better. Or maybe that. That could be more like... Uh, that boy there, I suppose. Yeah. And he's got the kind of frown there. That works. Little pale skin. There we are. No tattoos. And he's... Kind of... I'll work with clothes. I have no use for this. We will go for defeat is adventures away. Reserved. Reserved. I might be blue rather than black, not sure, but that's fine. And uh, white, yep. of us and just randomly select these that music stopped waiting for music to start do it let us bide our time right and we'll watch through the entry, and that will be it for just now. Because this is the character creation one. There he is, Bravos. Oh, actually, what am I doing calling him Bravos? No, he's played by Sayoki. Gonna be Sayoki. Really cool. Everyone counts on me. And there we are.
Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary? Or an accommodating ditch? Gotta love Darren. Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Hmm. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. Oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. Grit your teeth in silence. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terrence. Only see you off. You will get speak for him. You stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terrendalem. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. Ah, Camellia. I'll get her. Terrendalem. <laughs> Has anyone seen Terrendalem? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before. And I have an excellent memory for faces. I don't remember. You don't remember at all? All right, we'll wait until your memory returns. And there's our silver My dragon. Dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. <laughs> all right, as you wish. You are our protector. And a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom. But be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. And the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday. But not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. I loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. Thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks. But my work is not yet done. Can I go? Certainly. But be careful. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not yet healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. And that's where we will save it. That is indeed where we will save it. Right, thank you for joining us for character creation. And so Yorkie will be back in the next few days to uh, kickstart the uh, gameplay of this. I've been uh, your old mate, Yorkie, and I look forward to seeing you later. When, if I can find a way to get some money, we'll start the uh, My Humble Opinion run. Good day, anon.